Yourself with light as with a garment, who has stretched out the heavens like a tent, who has laid the beams of your chambers on the waters, who makes the clouds your chariot, who rides on the wings of the wind, who makes your angel spirits and your ministers a fiery flame. You set the earth in its foundation so that it should never be shaken. You covered it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled. At the sound of your thunder they took to flight. The mountains rose about and sank down to the place which you appointed for them. You set a bound which you should not pass, so they may, that they may not again cover the earth. You made springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. By them the birds of the air have their habitation. They sing among the branches. From your lofty abode you water the, the mountains. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle, fodder for the animals that serve man that he may bring forth food from the earth, wine to gladden the heart of man, and oil to make his face shine, and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon which he planted, and then the birds build their nests, the stork has her home in the fir trees, the high mountains are a refuge for the badgers. You make the moon to mark the season, the sun knows it's time for setting. You make darkness and it is night when all the beasts of the forest creep forth. Young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lie down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom have you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the sea, great and wide, which teems with things innumerable, living things both small and great. They go the ships and Leviathan, which you formed to sport in it. These all look to you to give them their food due season, when you, when, they, when you give it to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away your spirit, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Who looks in the earth and it trembles? Who touches the mountains and they smoke? I will sing praises to my God while I have been. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knows it's time for setting. You make darkness, and it is night. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom have you made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, 
Oh. 
tonight from morning watch that is real hope in the Lord. The fairy took a certain tongue which she did not know, for the archangel spoke to her words of annunciation, and accepting his salutation with faith, she conceived you the free eternal God. Wherefore rejoicing we cry out to you, O God, who is immutably incarnate of her, grant peace to the world and make great mercy to our souls. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenty of redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. Behold, our restoration has now been revealed to us. God unites himself to men in manner past recounting. Falsehood is dispelled by the voice of the archangel, for the virgin received joy, and earthly woman has become heaven. The world is released from the primal curse. Let creation rejoice and chant aloud, O Lord, our Creator and Deliverer, glory to you. Praise the Lord, all nations, praise him, all peoples. The great Gabriel, the most godly, radiant and salvific intelligence, who with the ranks on high beholds the light of the threefold sun, and chants divine and awesome hymns, pray that he grant unto our souls peace and great mercy. For his mercy is confirmed on us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. The great mystery unknown before to the angels, and kept secret from time began, was entrusted to you alone, O Gabriel, and you declared it to her who alone is pure. Having arrived in Nazareth, with her do you pray that God grant unto our souls peace and great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The archangel Gabriel was sent from heaven to announce the conception to the Virgin, and in arriving in Nazareth, he pondered within himself, marveling at the wonder, how is it that he who is the highest is unapproachable, is born of the Virgin, that he who has heaven for his throne and the earth for his footstool is contained within the virgin's womb that he upon whom the six wing and many eyed beings cannot gaze has been well pleased to become incarnate of her by his word alone this is god's word why therefore do i stand and not say to the virgin rejoice O oh, you who are full of grace the lord is with you Rejoice, O pure virgin, rejoice, O unwedded bride, rejoice, O mother of life, blessed, blessed is the fruit of your womb. a house, she hath hewn her out of seven pillars, she hath slain her victims, mingled her wine, and set forth her table. She hath sent her maids to invite the tower and to the walls of the city. Whosoever is a little one, let come 
Let him come to me, and in the unwise she said, Come, eat my bread, and drink the wine which I have mingled for you. Forsake childlessness, and live, and seek prudence for a pleasant life, whereby to perfect understanding through knowledge. He that teacheth a scorner doth an injury to himself. He that rebuke a wicked man getteth himself a blot. For reprimands or wounds to the wicked, rebuke not a scorner, least he hath thee, he hate thee. Rebuke a wise, and he will love thee. Give an occasion to a wise man, and a wisdom shall be added to them. Teach a just man, and he shall make a haste to receive it. The fear of the Lord and the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is prudence. For by me shall they, thy day be multi multiplied, and years of life shall be added to thee. Peace be unto you, blessed one. Oh, oh. Amen. Oh. Again and again, peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O oh, Lord, our God, and to thee, may strive glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages. Amen. Spirit, the proclaimer in tone for for tone, proclaim thee from the day unto day, the glad tidings of the salvation of God. Proclaim to me from day to day the Reading of the epistle of St. Paul to the Hebrews. Brethren, both he who sanctifies and those who are sanctified are all of one, for which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren, saying, I will declare thy name to thy, my brethren. In the midst of the church will I praise thee, and again I will put my trust in him. Again, I'll behold I and my children whom God has given me. Therefore, because the children are partakers of the flesh and blood, he also himself in like manner has been partaker of the same, that through death he might destroy him who had the empire of death, that is to say the devil, and might deliver them who through the fear of death were all their lifetime subject to servitude. For nowhere does he take hold of the angels, but of the seed of Abraham he takes hold. Wherefore it behooved him in all things to be made like unto his brethren, that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest before God, that he might be a propitiation for the sins of the people. For in that wherein he himself has suffered and been tempted, he is able to succor those 
them who that are tempted. Peace be unto you who has met for all. And with your spirit. Alleluia. 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 He descends like the rain on the grass, like showers that water the earth. So on this wonderful feast of the 
announcing to the world that God will become human, which is what the feast basically celebrates. There's one overriding theme for the feast, and that theme, of course, is joy. Absolute joy. I mean, if you just look at the icon of the Theodore, it's only a lot of stuff. You can't look at that and not feel that, that joy. Knowing Mary's circumstance, a circumstance that today's world and the world back then, of course, rejected totally. A teenage girl, never knowing man, pregnant by the Holy Spirit, right. I've got some land in, in Beirut that I can sell to you, right? Even today, look at what the world is doing with this wonderful joy event. There are Christian faiths that deny the purity of the Theotokos, that deny that she was impregnated by the Holy Spirit. Yet they call themselves Christian. The scientific world has no place in trying to understand faith. But yet, historically, the church has always said, today, rejoice. Today, understand the joy. The joy is ours. And what is that joy? That God took on humanity, right? That God became a human being. And because he became a human being, gives to us that wonderful gift of free will. Free will. Mary got that gift, right? When the angel came to her and said, today, I have news for you. <clears throat> the power of the Most High is going to come upon you. Will bear a son, his name will be Jesus. The first test of free will, actually, was the second. The first one was Adam and Eve in paradise. Mary could have said, Man, that doesn't take Give it to somebody else. Way too, way too much, too heavy of a burden. I'll pass. She didn't. Of course, you can see in the dialogue she was troubled. How will this be? I never knew the man. I'm paraphrasing now. The Gabriel. God's got it. Take care of it. He'll take care of it. Just relax. We have also given, been given that gift if we will. If we're honest, we know that every day we fall short of being as obedient as Mary. And saying yes to God and to his, his wonderful, wonderful, I don't want to, his commands to us, I was trying to make an astral for you, his commands, which are not negotiable, we're called to obey them, we're called to do them. We fall short. But in falling short, we realize that the gift is still there. Every day, we can still say yes to God. Every day, the gift of free will challenges us to say no to the devil, no to the stuff of this world, and yes to God. It, it sometimes... is concerning that too many of us, as we live in this world, <clears throat> look for comfort and consolation and solace. And again, forgive me for, for I gotta say it though, in our families, in their events, and their celebrations, 
All that stuff is temporary. All that stuff passing away. But saying yes to God, being obedient to God and to what He commands of us and asks of us, is eternal. When we're obedient to Him, our souls, what? They draw closer to Him. They're filled more with the Holy Spirit, with His grace, to deal with this world. Not only to deal with Him, but to overcome this world. That's what we celebrate today. Mary saying yes to the angel puts humanity on the path to salvation. And as we go towards that path, as you well know, we go like this. Right? We try to go this way, this way, and we fall off. We run back to confession, we get back on the road, and keep going. Keep saying yes. The devil doesn't want us to say yes. He doesn't want us to obey. Stay on the road. Stay obedient. Rejoice. Salvation is at hand for us. God bless you. Let us say with all our souls on mind, let us say.
Christ comes, the founders of the perfectors of the soil of thy bones. May the Lord God remember this kingdom, always and now and ever to ages of ages. His grace of the mission in the all those who have pleased with the death of the rest of the earth. May the Lord God remember this kingdom, Always, now, and ever, to ages of ages. The president of our country also will have found his armed forces in our little royal family. Our parish, parish council, will support organizations. May the Lord God remember his kingdom. Always, now, and ever, to ages of ages. Thus, sicken and suffering all those who have lost us, unworthy be the faith of them, especially the servants of God, Bruce, Michael, the handmaid, Eva, the handmaid, Stephanie, the handmaid, and Margaret. May the Lord God remember his kingdom, always, now and ever, to ages of ages. All of our fathers, mothers, brothers, and sisters, the Orthodox people are in this life before us, in faith and hope of the resurrection, in the departed servant of God, Lada, the servants of God, Daniel, Mohammed, and Dorothy, may the Lord God remember his kingdom, always, and now and ever, and unto ages of ages. All the victims of the Ukrainian conflict, may the Lord God remember his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and to ages of ages. All those throughout the world who have no one to pray for them, may the Lord God remember his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. And all Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
See the triumphant hymn shouting, proclaiming, and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord of Oh. 
Therefore I pray thee, have mercy upon me, and forgive me my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, commit with all of your ignorance, and make me worthy to partake without condemnation of thy most mysteries, for the remission of my sins, and to the life everlasting. Amen. Of the mystical supper of the Son of God, extend me today as communicants, for I must speak of thy mysteries and enemies, neither like Judas or like Ephesus, but like the thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. May the communion of the mysteries be neither to my judgment, nor to my condemnation, O Lord, the healing of soul in my body.
Glory to the old Christ, our banner of hope, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into ages of ages, amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Father. We Christ, our true God, through the prayers of his own pure mother, with the holy blessing of apostles, of our Father and the saints, John Chrysostom, Master of Christ, our temple, we be so great this day, of the only of us, the one that we're going to worship the fire of Nicaea, of the holy commandments and teachers of the ancient Saint Salva, Saint Simeon Arsenius, Max of Peter, Jim the Bishop of Stalin, the Venerable Saint Nicholas, Jicha, the Venerable Saint Madalia of Liverpool, Sebastian of Jackson, commemorating the Venerable and the Holy Martyr, Tikon, Patron of Moscow this day, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim, and of all the saints. Have mercy upon us and save us, for his glory and all this mankind. Through the prayers of the Holy Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Well, this wonderful feast day. 